They've been charge sheeted by the CBI, spent months in Tihar jail, but now as the case against them continues, no, they're not lying low, but will be busy in helping actually make laws for our country. The new list of parliamentary standing committees is out. On it, A. Raja on the Committee for Energy, Kani Modi on the Committee for Home, and Suresh Kalmadi on the Committee for External Affairs. One year ago, the Congress suspended Suresh Kalmadi after his arrest in the Commonwealth Games camp. But today he is rehabilitated as a member of the Parliamentary Panel for External Affairs. A. Raja lost his job as Telecom Minister before he was arrested in February last year on charges of cheating and conspiracy in the 2G Spectrum scam. Later, his DMK colleague Kanimuri was also arrested on charges of criminal breach of trust. But after the bail, the DMK, which maintained the innocence, welcomed them back like heroes. Now DMK has named Raja for the Energy Committee, which looks into a sector worth multi-million dollars dealing with coal and power projects and Kanimori for the panel related to the sensitive Home Ministry. She has shifted from the Human Resource Department panel. Suresh Kalmadi has been a member of this committee even while he was suspended, even while he was in jail. I am also chairman of the Privilege Committee. Let me tell you that it is the prerogative of every parliament member to be a member of some committee. And here Mr. Suresh Kalmadi, who, was, who is under suspension under charges of corruption for Commonwealth Games scams, has been nominated under the signature of Mrs. Sonia Gandhi to a parliamentary standing committee. How they justify this ethically, morally, it is for these concerned parties to explain. It's within rules, but at a time rising corruption is a major concern. Is it ethical for parties to name scam-tainted MPs for sensitive committees, which are supposed to help make the government more accountable? These panels consider bills related to their ministries, decide on demands for grants for their ministries, consider long-term policy documents presented in the House, and also participate in study tours. For the politicians, perhaps this is a please don't do politics, please introspect moment. Rajas and the Kalmadis can become members of parliamentary panels because the constitutional fathers were silent on such issues. A silence which is neither a mistake nor an omission. This silence perhaps means that the constitution of India expects its MPs and elected representatives to be better, much better. In Delhi, Rahul Srivastava for Indy TV. India's number one news app just got even better. Download NDTV's new app, fully optimized for retina display, full screen view, faster response time, and Sudoku. NDTV's new iPad app. Download now.